Catherine Switzer was born in Hamburg, Germany in 1947. She is an American author, television commentator, and a marathon runner who will be participating in this year's Boston Marathon. Catherine spoke to Hiller's athletes, including captains and members of the track team, about her experience. I'm Catherine Switzer. I was the first woman to actually wear a bib number in the Boston Marathon in 1967. And I'm in Hopkinton here at Hopkinton High School talking to these wonderful kids about how the marathon not only starts here, but how it really started my life in many, many ways. It inspired me when I ran that race to make a lot of change in women's sports, um, to help get the women's marathon into the Olympic Games, um, worked for WBZ for 37 years, and now here I am ready to run on April 17th for my 50th anniversary. Catherine Switzer is mostly known for being the first woman to run the Boston Marathon as a numbered entry. And her story is empowering women everywhere. She took part in the race in 1967 and registered as Kay Switzer, despite a race official named Jock Semple attempting to remove her from the race during the marathon, she finished it anyway and proved the many critics who thought a woman would not be able to finish a marathon wrong. Catherine went on to win the New York City Marathon in 1974 and placed second in the Boston Marathon in 1975. Catherine will be running this year in honor of the 50th anniversary of becoming the first registered female runner to complete the Boston Marathon. You know, my old bib number 261 now has become 261 Fearless a nonprofit foundation that I founded because people keep coming to me and saying 261 makes me feel fearless and what we have realized is that through running women especially become empowered transformed by the experience and we want to take that experience out to them and we are doing a series of global clubs it's a global community of women we are going wonderfully we're growing fast and we have 125 people on Marathon Monday who are going to be running with me to raise money thanks to the Boston Athletic Association charity bid program for this foundation. Um, on my 50th anniversary I couldn't be happier than to have the support like this. And how's the training been going getting ready for the big day? The training has been going really pretty good. You know, I'm a little stressed with, with a, a, the startup of a foundation. It's been hard. Uh, with 125 runners running with you, you get 125,000 challenges. But the training itself has been going great. And I'm here in Hopkinton also uh, to run a, a little practice run and get myself up Heartbreak Hill and see what it feels like again after 50 years. All right, well, we wish you the very best of luck. Thank you so much for everything. I'm really delighted to be here. It's a fabulous community and it's the best town in New England. As part of the many Boston Marathon festivities in Hopkinton, leading up to the big day, she took some time to visit the place it all started, Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Hopkinton, uh, sweatshirt here. And I just want to thank you so much for coming today and sharing your story. It's very inspiring to me as a track captain, but to all the captains, especially to women in sports. So thank you for so much for how so much you've done for Hawkinson, the Boston Marathon, and for women's sports. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you.